So Yamaha came out with this news article that they're going to have at the Miami Boat Show a hydrogen-powered outboard. Last year, they got into some agreement with Toyota and they created a V8 350 that ran on H2 hydrogen. So that is pretty crazy to hear that you're going to have that large of an outboard. I don't really know where that's going to go. I just thought I'd bring it up to, for everybody to talk about it. But in my opinion, based on what I know about hydrogen, and I don't know that much about it, but I do know that as of right now, the technology for hydrogen is that that's probably not going to go anywhere. Only, be, you know, depending on the technology, only for a couple different things. One is the amount of hydrogen that you need to run that engine, especially something it's on the 5.6 liter V8, which is the 425. And the amount of hydrogen that it takes to go the same distance or push the same weight as a fuel gas combustion engine is like three to four times more. So like on a car, they've got cars. Um, I think Mazda has a car. Toyota has a car that has a hydrogen engine and it runs on H2, which is hydrogen. And, you know, if you had that car that's going to go, say, 300 miles or something like that, 400 miles, then you've got like a normal Toyota or something. You got a 12, 15 gallon fuel tank on there. But in order to go the same distance with hydrogen, you need like I, I forget the numbers, but it was like a hundred gallons of hydrogen to go the same distance. So take that and translate that to a boat. And I know there are different things where liquid hydrogen for the gas hydrogen, the two differences there, one has to be super cool. The other one um, doesn't, it needs to be compressed at a high pressure. So you can't just put, you just can't just take a fuel tank and a boat and then turn it into a hydrogen tank and run the engine on hydrogen. Um, but not only that, how are you going to get that much fuel? Like these boats already have 100, 200, 300, 600 gallons of fuel that they're carrying. So how are you going to triple or quadruple that? That's the only thing that I can think about as of right now. We'll see where the technology goes. I do think it's very interesting and a pretty fun topic, and it will be cool to see. But whether or not it actually fruitions into something that gets mainstream and goes, you know, into the recreational market, because you have to rebuild the whole boat based on, you know, just the fuel delivery. And then also, does it still work under, you know, rubber fuel hoses? Since it is a pressurized either gas or liquid and the temperatures are way different, you know, I don't know what kind of changes you'll have to do in the boat in order to make that feasible and work. It will be cool to see. I definitely will be going to Miami Boat Show. Definitely checking it out. But as of right now, I don't know if the technology is really there yet. Let's see what, you know, the engineers and all these scientists and all these people develop, whether it goes anywhere or not. Don't know. I do think it's super cool. And especially where, you know, it's on a big platform because that's kind of one thing right now. You've got all these electrical out, electric outboards that are only going up to like a 180. I think that there is one company that has a 300. But again, that's to do the same distance and push the same weight that's in, you know, that boats are dealing with drag and all the other stuff. We'll see where that goes because you're going to need to consume a lot of hydrogen to get the same performance numbers. Um, yeah, you do get rid of the emissions, but we'll see where that actually goes. Now, if you like this video, you can watch the full episode over here or you can watch another clip over here.